So here we have what is light. I'm going to start with a little history, and then we'll do some experiments to <laughs> see <laughs> what's going on. 당고 가르치기 수도 좀 봐. 아니 안 줘. 딱제 전에 고조가 인스라야. 전에 아니 가르인 것도 딱 인스. 당고 내 외에서 아직 가르에서. Oh yeah. So uh, next slide. So I apologize. This one's in English. 딱제 전에 인지는 또 본다서. There was an Arab in about 1000 AD who discovered a lot about light. 딱제 전 로직 동제 안리야. 난다 가지. His name was Al Hazen. Quran means the Kazan Laza. Al Hazen's a Gimiji was in the Kardu Rui with the Tuni Jongur Laza. And he invented, or the, he, he described the pinhole camera. Oh, that Quran character said Java is the pinhole of the number, pen the dead nerd of the day, even though Tunji Big Sanjo Jora, or Digi Barges or Jesu, or did they say Jaris? Eric is sick this morning. Uh, but when he returns, he will have you build a pinhole camera. Yeah. Um, look at this image which I took in the mountains. You can see. Well, what do you see in terms of light? Light. They can see the light, also yes. particles, yes. some colors. Yes. Oh, very good. Yeah, so there's light. And to see the light, it must bounce into your eye to capture the light in a camera. The light must go into the camera. You, you cannot see the light right here. Unless it hits something. You can see the light there, which means it hit something. And the person who said particles was exactly right. The air is full of particles which take the light from the sun going this way and send it to the camera. So when you see a beam of light in the air, you know there are particles there. Galileo in 1600, 1600 yes. um, was one of the world's first scientists. He wrote a book called A Dialogue on the New Sciences. I think it was very Buddhist in nature. It was written as a debate. And there was uh, obviously one person in the debate was Galileo. Galileo 
And the person he was debating was named Simplicio. And the Quran began the Kadejora, the Minglia, and it's Simplicio Sigores. Which means stupid. So you know who was going to win the debate. He tried to measure how fast light traveled from one place to another. He put a, per, a man with a lantern on one hill and a man with a lantern on the other hill and he had the man with the lantern open it up. When this man saw it, he flashed his and then Galileo timed how long, actually with his pulse, because clocks hadn't been invented. Go ahead. Galileo <laughs> So, who wants to help me? That's ah, good. Ah, very, very fast. So on. Please come up. You're going to be this person here. And here's what we're going to do. Oh, thanks, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be this person here. And again, to draw the yes. Yeah, co cover it like, no, leave it on. Cover it like this, okay? Now, as soon, as soon as you see me, my light, do this, you show me yours. Ready? <laughs> okay. Uh, Took a while. Hold on. What's the problem with measuring the speed of light doing that? Oh, because uh, this distance is not so long. Right. So you should go farther away. Yes, that's exactly what Galileo did. <laughs> so he did it on two hills, and then he did it twice as far away. And then he did it four times further away. And it always took the same amount of time. Why? Close. What they say? They said that this is because the speed of the light is so fast. Yes. And but there is some time. There is a delay. What caused the delay? Ah, because of the eyesight. Mm -hmm. Sometimes uh, your hand should be very fast. It, so, it's the eye takes some time to see, and 
the nerve impulse where we have up there nerve. Tele ada nanti wangsa saja ada nanti deh. Wangsa tu. Neuron, nerve. Yeah, neuron. Wangsa tu pun dah. Wangsa tu pun dah. Dah nanti wangsa itu pun dia juga dah jadi ni. Jadi. It travels about ten meters a second from the brain to the hand. Tapi jadi ni ya ten meters ni tu pun dia cuci cuci dia ni ya kerja dia juga kor lara. Wangsa itu pun dia susah ni ya si ini ni lakukan mana dok lara nanti. Tapi dah jadi. Ani kerja dia ni ya meter cuci cuci jauh lara. So, no matter what distance he used, light was so fast, there was, it was all inside the human brain that, and arm. Yesterday, we had the great question about where is the color. Red light comes in. Only the red cone produces pulses. But those pulses have, are not light, they're not color, they are something called voltage. Voltage. The voltage in the Loksuk has a major. Everything you think, every time you move, it's pulses of voltage that run through the body, according to scientists. So, there are red cones and green cones and blue cones. And light is a wave. And it has a wavelength, a distance between the crests. Can you write it in well, whatever color? Yeah. And it did a lot of sad. And red has a long wavelength. Go ahead. Green has a shorter wavelength. Blue has the shortest wavelength. Okay, hmm. should have done it the other way around. Sorry, just a minute, I'll redo it. Okay, so. Red. Green. Green. 
we can make a line on which we put the wavelengths in different positions. And I can give them numbers. I can measure them. They're called nanometers. <laughs> I don't know. Can you say that? I don't know. Nanometer. Yeah, you can say that. Okay, good. Nanometers. The general layer, then the meters are jora. The then the the nano side, the thing that you run just a word name you. Oh, this is an elaborate like jungle layer, desert layer, nanometers. This is a meter. This is a much 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 little thing. So, this is a word. A human hair. A human hair is a hundred. Thousand nanometers. Oh, that that that. Meter, meter, he named that. But the two get tall. The other is this number nanometer. Any, uh, there is another. Uh, bombic. So a human hair would be one hundred times longer than the wavelength of red light. That says that that that. Now the meter, that that. Any that that. Uh, a human hair would be as big as this building. If this were the wavelength of red light. So these are very small things. Meters and the bed tower, the meter lay and got dub Jadamagi Tumor or Laza. Meter the dub Jagate or Lazaya. Now, the interesting thing is yellow light. Is between red and green in the spectrum. The Shanati Carrier is the number and the well up than the Sevo Jora. Is that okay? The spectrum? The spectrum of the So, how do we see yellow light if there are only blue, green, and red cones? What yellow, oh sorry, yeah. What yellow light does is it makes both the red and the green send signals at the same time. And the brain says, Aha! I have red cones and green cones sending me voltage. That's yellow. That's yellow. No one wavelength of light is white. There's, there's no wavelength for white light. That's to make white light, the red, the green, and the blue must all fire together.
All the wavelengths of light come in. All of the cones fire. The brain makes up white. So, to answer your question, how do scientists describe color? White light, which is made of all colors, comes in and hits the monk's robe. There is no color yet. There are chemicals in the monk's robe that remove the blue and the green. The green part of the white light and the blue part of the white light go into the monk's robe and they go away. They vanish, they turn into heat. Only the light with the wavelength like this comes out. It's not a color yet. It's a wavelength of light. Then, this wavelength of light goes into my eye. It's still not red yet. This cone cell creates pulses of voltage. Could you write voltage there? It's still not red yet. Oh, <laughs> This goes to the back of the brain to the sensory cortex. And there, the brain creates the, per the perception of red. Yes. And uh, okay, so questions. That you you Okay, yeah. Sorry, I did the rope 
monk's robe itself has a color or not? Officially, as a scientist, the monk's robe has no color. Oh, official list is number Shungdungi Gejes or Zitiri, Shunglu Gejes or Zinastra, Kusho Gitajelia, Tanda, Yomaris Lagris. To say it correctly, I should say, get this whole thing. Light comes into the monk's robe and a range of wavelengths of light come out of the monk's robe, which when viewed by a human eye and brain is perceived to be red. In language, we like to take shortcuts. So when I'm asked, what is the color of the tsampa? I should say, ah, the light from the sun reflects off the sampa with a spectrum which when it goes into my eye, my brain tells me is brown. But we take a verbal shortcut and we say, the sap is brown. <laughs> the robe is red. So you mentioned that the shape and color of the robe is brand's creation. Yes. So that means there is no color outside at all? This There's no color out there at all. No color at all. Make it play, Eric. There is no color at all. You gotta scroll across until you get the the arrow on the screen here. There it is. And then up here is play. That's it, right there. Yeah. Okay, but but for example, here is wavelength. That is sunlight. For every different wavelength, there is a certain amount of energy. That exists without a human. But when this goes into an eye, the brain creates the impression of white. Okay, so Okay, time for a break and turn it over to Eric, who's gonna take you to another unbelievable world of atoms. And they tell again, Eric, this king, Giranzo, and a bed, ye, Chimadu, you got a couple minutes while they're doing it. You got a couple minutes. You got a couple minutes. So, write in your book about mm -hmm. color and come and attack me in person about the scientific views. 
Tanah si ke, tanda geng ke, kado kan lah lapsa, kado sah di yuli yau maris. Mik dah lewat ni, kan lady tu mungkin punya soal canggih orang lapsa. Jadi dia lop dia nalar mati. Kesi gear ke tiwa ini, ini ngaji lo tu anis scenes, ini ngada tabs. Yes.